So I said, okay, cool, I'll get you water. I got a water, I even got a coffee. We're speaking for a bit. I'm like, yeah, I know, are you okay? You hope, I hope everything's well. Then I'm like, so can I get your number, please? And she's like, no, I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave now. And she left and took my coffee. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Thursday. It is quarter past one in the afternoon, starting off the vlog now because we've been in class, we've been chilling, uploaded yesterday's vlog. Asado is a sleepy. I'm just chilling. Last night we did get to bed a little bit late and we need to recover because we've been in class all day, we've been, we had a prac, so we haven't done much and we're gonna go train. What are we training tomorrow? I mean today. Uh, arms and shoulders. Yeah, we're gonna do some arms and shoulders. I don't know if we're gonna be able to film that. You know, GK, Krunkler version active with them and their rules. We don't always get the footage that we need, but we'll try our best. We got a, a young Valch over here. What, no, what is it? No, because I, t I told her my name is Valch, and she's like, what? And then I told her, no, it's like V. She's like, like a vulture, and I was like, no. <laughs> it's fine, really, it's fine. So Assad woke me up at six this morning after four hours sleep because he we came, had to to class, that's we had to get to class firstly, but he also came to sleep on my bed and your man snored like a trooper <laughs> last night. I'm sorry. So I slept, <laughs> yeah, it's literally, <laughs> Kimron's twin over here, they're, bo they're born on the same day, so obviously that's why they both snore terribly. That's why I'm so sexy. I don't get that logic. Meal time, over here. You got 200 grams of lean bacon. Two whole eggs. And two egg whites. And uh, two servings of Evox protein. That is 200 grams for the bacon, 220 grams for the protein shake, about 150 calories for the egg. And there's a saddle busy editing the YouTube. How's it going? Good, bro. <coughs> Just woke up from the best nap probably of my life. It definitely helped to have that sleep. So how's your dose, bro? Saddle, how's your dose? Oh my word, it was amazing. Yeah, I thought I'd lay, lie down for like 10 minutes and then it turned out to be like an hour and a half and it was exactly what I needed. So, uh, time to chill out for the rest of the day. Asado is editing his vlog. I'm gonna read. I started, I read this book last year, like half of it, and I've been too lazy. So maybe right now I just finish the rest of it. I played all the games, watched the movie, and the book was pretty good halfway through, so I'm just gonna carry on doing that. So Ian's back from class now, and Ian, how are you doing after your cat attack? Bro, I saw it when I was walking on my car today, and I guessed at it. We had a little stare down. He knows his place now. He knows that I'm there. So if you approach the cat... I'm not approaching that cat. You must not touch It'll it again. Me. Yeah, don't touch it again. Bro, I thought we were friends. I had like a, such a good moment with that cat on Sunday. He was even driving on my car roof and now he just attacks me like that. I'm so upset with it. For those of you who haven't seen that, watch this five second clip. No, yeah, I would not do that. He doesn't like me, eh? Before we <laughs> Robin, bro, are we training hoppers five? Nothing better than literally chilling the whole day with the boys over here. Just watching some family guy. So I just want to give you guys some honesty. We are really tired. We went out last night. We barely got any sleep. And we aren't feeling very motivated to train. We're not feeling excited and we're not feeling very inspired. However, you have to look past this moment of what's the word bro like just depro-ness bro just like not wanting to go and push ourselves and be better and achieve more so we just need to in life almost just if you do something that is going to alter and hinder your progress like staying up late at night you have to just bite the bullet and the next day carry on working and you need to achieve those goals yes you need a, a balance in life, so it, it is good to go out at night, 
spend time with friends, family, have a good time, party, dance, have a nice time, friends, family, meet new people. However, this cannot alter the progress that you are trying to achieve. So you still need to be able to get in the gym the next day. You still need to be able to follow the diet and you still need to just push on and just work towards everything. Just grind, grind, grind. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm too lazy to pull up my pants. Did she try giving me a prize again? Ian, why aren't you wearing pants? Well, I'm too lazy to pull them up from. Oh. Ian, give us a view, our viewers, one motivational quote for the day. Motivational quote? Yeah. Oh, I actually had one today. Like a really cool one. Still hope for humanity in this barbaric place we live in or something. I don't know. I got nothing bro. Ian's quote for the day is there's still hope in humanity in this barbaric world. Is that it? Yeah. That's a good one. Pre-workout meal time. Ian, what are you having? I'm having some spaghetti bolognese for best Spaghetti bolognese. So Ian has focused all his carbs today around his workout. So before gym now, this is exactly what he's cracking. Young spaghetti. What are we training, Ian? What are we training? We're doing abs and calves. So, as the boy said it, we are doing shoulders and arms. While we watch some Tomorrowland throwback. We have oats and rice flour mixed with a serving of protein shake and 150 grams of cultures. Uh, Ian, I've got something that's going to make you very happy. What? Someone commented on my post. Hey! Commented, we love Ian. To me, I love you too. To me, has it? Oh, I'm so happy. Commented, we love Ian. Ha ha. Should just take take over my vlogs. I just pulled the bacon down my tummy. Oh. <laughs> so Ian's gonna start taking over the vlogs. It's now gonna be called. What do you want to call your channel, Ian? Ian's vlogs are better than Jesse's. Ian's vlogs are better than Jesse's. <laughs> So www.youtube slash Ian's vlogs are better than Jesse's. Check it out. Link not in the description below. <laughs> time to go train shoulders for the third time this week. Shoulders and arms. So Robin actually pointed out to me yesterday how long my arms are. So can I just show you compared to Ian? So just for myself. So you see, Ian and my shoulders are about the same. And look. Look at my hand compared. That's like, I've got a big hand. You have gor and look you at our hands compared. Yours is like gorilla hands, bro. And look at our hands. So he's got bigger and hands. still longer, bro. And I'm still longer. I'm like a... If you look at it from there. Gorilla. Literally. That's how my arms are so skinny. <laughs> that's how this mask looks so good. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually... And I've just got normal arms. Normal size arms. Is this your bag? Yeah. What's in there? The towel, jeans, deodorant. What's that, bro? Are you just bringing. <laughs> what are you getting changed into? Okay, I'm bringing What's up. What's that, bring a whole stuff. change of clothes. Well, are you getting changed back to your sweetie, Jim? Bro, is there even going to be enough time for you to sauna and shower oh, and stuff? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> just doing the sauna, sauna that's right. What? I just doing the sauna, that's right. So then, what am I going to do? Just shower. I sauna, don't. There's nothing going on in here, yeah, let's go. So, the weather in Pretoria is looking rather ominous. Look who's back. Uh, so, do you know what ominous means? Yeah, there's Ian's cat. Ian's cat. The savage feline that ravaged his forearm yesterday. So, the weather here is looking ominous. Check this out. Ian, watch out, there's the cat. No, leave it alone. Let's just leave it, bro. Right so Sardo has the pleasure of driving us. Thank you, bro. So as I was saying, it's the third shoulder workout for the week. My leg looks so good. We did a hectic leg workout yesterday. We squatted, oh, we squatted yeah. and squatted. 140, eh? Yeah, we went up to 140. That's not heavy for most people. That's double me. That's heavy for a sword. I should be doing more than that. I will admit my legs are not as strong as the rest of my body. My hand definitely got a little infected. How is it looking now? Check, it's, like, look, it's kind of swollen there. If you compare. And then... Yeah, you can see those. 
So you are last night. Cat fight. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I texted the cat's sister. Ian, Ian was petting the other cat and then it got a little bit jealous. <laughs> so I'm happy you're driving us, but like I would have preferred to go in Jesse's car, you know. It's right so far. Yeah, I mean, this is so far. This is our cardio. We came yes, from the down there. I love it. It's going to storm tonight. It's going to be beautiful. We're having a board games night. Oh. Maybe we vlog the board games. I just have to study at some stage. No. <laughs> we don't do that. We I do, study, I promise. We don't study. We check out this weather blowing these trees. We're going into the gym now. And what usually follows after that, guys? A few savage moments later. Later. <laughs> so that is the gym session done. Sadly. And unfortunately, I try to speak to a girl. And she gave me the worst bat I've ever experienced in my life. It was genuinely quite upsetting. How did you feel after that, Asad? Dude, let me just tell you right now. Girls like that, you don't approach them, you leave them, you don't give them the attention they want. You see, the thing is, obviously, you don't want to be approached in the gym. You're sweaty, you are trying to work out. So you don't want a guy to approach you in the gym. However, I've seen her there for about two weeks now. And... I've never seen her anywhere else, so I kind of wanted to go up to her and just say, sorry, I see you work out, I see you working hard, I've never, like it's not ideal that I'm approaching you in the gym, and I apologize for that, however, but, I admire but. your hard work and your work ethic, and I just want to commend you on that, so that's literally what I wanted to say. I shouted you out on Facebook, and no one replied. To I don't you like you. Him. Yeah, so, you, you didn't even give me time of day, so... I'm rather, I was rather embarrassed, but it's fine. Like, so I'm not gonna reenact what happened. No, 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 he's driving us. I'm sorry? We're gonna die. Yeah, that's literally how it happened. Uh, I forgot. So, Saad, you've also got a bad story of a chick giving you bats, eh? But no, you... mine's much worse, bro. Much okay. worse. Tell us. She was on the treadmill and she was running and she was so fresh. She was, she was dead. Yo, she was so fresh. So, I like built up the courage because she was on the treadmill for like 20 minutes. I was doing bike for 10. So I built up the courage to go speak to her and I saw her get off the treadmill and she was holding her head. So I went to her and I asked her like what's wrong, she said no, she got a headache, whatever, whatever. So I said okay cool, I'll get you water, I got her water, I even got her coffee. We're speaking for a bit, I'm like yeah, I know, are you okay, you hope, I hope everything's well. Then I'm like, so can I get your number please? And she's like, no I'm sorry, I'm gonna leave now. And she left and took my coffee. <laughs> So she used you for rehydrate. Mm -hmm. Bro, you don't need to go in the visitor's parking. That's all I'm saying. I know. I You're a resident. Was... You've got two residents in your car. That's what I was waiting. <laughs> I was waiting because I wanted to just finish the story, bro. That's true. Ian, fingerprints. Hey, oh, and yeah. hey, you stole wrong. Hey, that was how are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm very good, thanks. Enjoy your night. Better out of models,